course. Of course, it was a brilliant show. Absolutely. No, no, we'll go again. Sure. No, no, I'll get us a ticket, I promise. No, no, I will, I will, I will. Hey, listen, can I, can I ring you back? Okay, no, no, I will, I'll ring you back, okay. Okay, bye, 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 bye. You okay? Mate, can you hear me? Mate, are you all right? Seven hundred and twenty-six people died on our streets last year. Seven hundred and twenty-six souls gone. Imagine for a second that this was your father, your mother, Imagine this was one of our children. We are the fifth largest economy in the world. We cannot accept this. We cannot allow our children to grow up in a world where this is okay. We need practical solutions that create real social impact and drive sustainable change. One year ago, I stood on this stage and I told my story. I'm an ex-soldier from a challenging background who became a barber and a successful businessman. Yet I was unfulfilled and unhappy. I found fulfillment in offering free haircuts to Manchester's homeless community. These people deserve our time. They deserve care and attention, just like the rest of us. We found this human connection became a gateway. Not a gateway drug, but a gateway to transforming their lives. One year ago, we were providing food, haircuts, clothing, support and advice. But 2020, has seen the birth of a new idea worth spreading. The Foundation Community Barbershop. Sometimes the answers are right under our nose and we must open our eyes and see it. Our shop is staffed entirely by people who have experienced homelessness, individuals leaving the care system, ex-offenders and ex-servicemen. We teach our trainees the barbering skills, the personal development skills and the mindfulness techniques to thrive in a positive environment. We provide a hand up, not just a hand out. And we catch people before they fall into a life of long-term homelessness. And we provide the tools and the training vital for real and lasting change. This is Aaron. Aaron was homeless when we first met. His journey from homelessness to becoming a community barber is now complete. Please give Aaron a round of applause. <laughs> I 
Aaron's next customer has contributed to our mission, so I had to invite him on stage. His work has meant that 500 people a night have a bed and a safe place to sleep. This has contributed to a 37% decrease in rough sleeping in Manchester, while the rest of the country has seen a marked rise. This is not a political endorsement, simply a shout out to an individual who is reducing homelessness. Please welcome the Mayor of Greater Manchester, Mr Andy Burnham. Uh, not too sure, Aaron, if you don't mind. No worries, I'll be here. <laughs> so, Aaron, I heard you were homeless for four months. How did you become a community barber? Well, when I was living at the hostel, um, one of the lads told me about the foundation and what they were doing. So I uh, thought I'd go down for myself and have a look, and straight away I was offered a free haircut. And um, speaking to the barbers, speaking to Jed, I was offered the opportunity to train as a full-time barber. And what does this opportunity mean to you? This opportunity means the world to me. If, uh, if it wasn't for the foundation, I'd still be living on the streets now, and who knows where I could be now. And how do you now see your own future from here? I see my future as very bright. I, um, I want to be one of the UK's top barbers, but not only that, I want to help people that have been in the situation that I was in and help them better their lives. Thank you, Aaron and Andy. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Cheers, mate. Thank you, Andy. Well done, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you. The key, the key discovery that we made is that a haircut can be a gateway to so much more. Our barbers are the most powerful outreach workers. They hold a tremendous amount of credibility with the community we serve because they have walked that path. They have found a way out of homelessness and back into society, all starting with the power of a simple haircut. There are an increasing number of women on the street. Hannah was inspired by our work with her uncle Raymond. Raymond was a kind soul who unfortunately found himself long-term street homeless. He always told Hannah, you do not end up like me. Do not end up like me. As you can see from his face, Raymond absolutely loved his haircuts and I absolutely loved to spend time with him. One day he sat in my chair and we shared, shared stories and we laughed. We built a bond as strong as any good friendship. But he died alone on the street. He could have been your uncle, but Raymond was my friend. It does not have to be this way. Hannah has experienced homelessness, domestic abuse, and drug addiction. She is a fighter. She is a survivor who, who driven by the loving memory of her uncle Raymond, is creating a positive future for herself and for her children. And we will support her every step of the way. We are so proud of you, Hannah. And I know Raymond would be too.
Dan, he's our head trainer and one of our shop managers. He was brought up in the care system. He experienced more trauma by the time he was a teenager than most adults. As we so often see, the trauma he experienced led to time in prison. This is a man who against all the odds has completely turned his life around. His example sends a message to our new trainees that it can be done. And he's a rock to so many people who are experiencing the reality that he left behind. I started this journey because I too know how it feels to have no certainty. I know the pain of feeling outcast and unloved and I have hit rock bottom. But those feelings and experiences are actually my gifts. They gave me emotional muscle and strength and they offered me compassion, empathy, and understanding. This all started with a simple haircut for a human being experiencing homelessness. Since that day, we have given over 4,000 free haircuts. We have built a tribe of people, a tribe of 54 people who care and want change. We have set up barbers internationally in refugee camps. One of the ways we have raised money is through boxing. That night, I literally fought homelessness. The big issue voted us one of the top 100 change makers in the UK. And our goal is to put 150,000 people through our unique training. But above all, we are given hope to those who need it most. And we are a pathway to a, a life with meaning and substance. A life they can be proud of. Now people always say, this is all amazing. But if you make us amazing, it makes it okay for you not to act. We are not amazing. It's simply how it should be. I've always said that we can end homelessness. And I believe that I will tell my beautiful three-year-old daughter of how we used to have people living on our streets. And how Manchester came together to achieve something great. We can end homelessness with fresh thinking, intelligent investment, and practical solutions. Richard Allen stood up against slavery. Emily Pankhurst stood up for women's rights. Martin Luther King stood up against racial segregation. Well, I'm standing up for the people who suffer every night on our streets. I'm standing up against homelessness. Will you all stand with me? Will you literally stand with me against homelessness? I want to see 2,500 people stand. Now raise your hands. And after three, I want you to shout. We will stand. One. 
Two. Three. We will stand! That was good, but we can do better. I want to hurt everybody in the room. After three. One. Two. Three. We will stand! The last time I want to hurt 2,500 people shout. After three. One, two, three, we will stand! Amazing. Now please stay on your feet because I have a very special treat for you. This amazing man has experienced homelessness, in, homelessness himself. People who have experienced homelessness can do amazing things. Please welcome pros performing their track about homelessness, Run With Faith. My friends, Mike Murray and Lee Royal. Love you, man. Jack King. I heard a blues man sing a song today. He made me smile and share some light my way. It's been so long since I ran with faith I'ma hold her hand, won't let her loose again Beneath the street lights, he sang slow The story of his life in a sad tone He ain't begging for no change, all the same He don't have no money in the bank So he gon' pass, throw something in his hat though He's got a voice deeper than his past goes On the corner, swimming with his hands cold Pain running through this man's bones Been through things you hardly believe So his son gone down in the heart of a beef Can't run, carrying the scars of the street Numb from the mark of the beast He can't get asleep so he sparks up a weed Thinking the reasons he can't be at peace Mad cause his dad couldn't father his seat Guess the apple don't fall far from the tree I heard a blues man sing a song today He made me smile and shed some light my way It's been so long since I ran with faith I'ma hold her hand, won't let her lose her game. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening.